In hospital, it's not just the doctors and nurses who help to get you fixed. There are lots of other heroes working behind the scenes. Ah, yes! What will happen when we have a go at their amazing jobs? Welcome to the Dr Chris Show. Useless. This is Operation Takeover. Lots of emergency cases arrive at Alderhey and other hospitals by air. All over the UK, there are helicopter services ready to help. Today's hospital hero is London Air Ambulance pilot, Captain Neil Jeffers. And we're going to meet him. Well, Chris is late. I've got no idea where he is at all, but Captain Neil is not going to be pleased, and this is a little bit embarrassing. There's Zardy. Where is he? Come on, Chris. Oh, it's a shame he's missed this. Probably should have told him about it. The helicopter's here. The blades have stopped turning and it's safe to approach. Ah, hi, Zand. Sorry you missed that. It really is the only way to travel. I'm going to start getting a helicopter to work a bit more often. This is outrageous! Air ambulances are incredible. This service in London helps around 2,000 patients every year, and the pilots are essential when it comes to their rescue. So, you know, we don't normally think of pilots as being part of a medical team. How do you fit in? Our job is to get the medical team to the patient as quickly as we possibly can. And being driven around London, the average speed is maybe five miles an hour. A helicopter can fly at about 150 miles an hour in a straight line. Getting to a medical emergency quickly is difficult enough, but landing there can be even trickier. This is the onboard medical team, Dr Anna Dobby and paramedic Steve Reed. No one appreciates the role of the pilot more than them. So it's not an easy job getting this helicopter where it needs to be. Landing spaces can be parks, can be roads. So the pilots try and get us as close to the scene as possible. These guys, they are so calm. Landed in school playgrounds, on the M25. Their training just makes them absolutely amazing under pressure. We've seen just how important the air ambulance is to the running of a big hospital. But will our careers as pilots take off? Get it? Get it? Today, I'm going to be flying the twin-engine Performance Class 1 MD902. Really? I just call mine Barry. Your takeover challenge is to fly your helicopter and land it as safely and as close to the patient as you possibly can. The pressure's on. This patient is critical. Ah! It's Minnie's on! And he's grazed his knee! Quick, Chris, to the choppers. Because there's been a patient trapped beneath the car, there are two potential landing sites. One is right next to the patient in a complicated school site, or there's a bigger field a bit further away. So the choice is whether they land in a complicated site or land in a big field and let your doctors and paramedics walk to the patient. We're off. Zahn's up first. Right, he's got an airborne. We don't want it to go too close to the river in this case. Zahn, you're going a little bit high. Come back! Come back! I'm sure that's not quite the way he wanted to go. <laughs> it's now over the river. Right, forward. No, fly, no, fly backwards, fly backwards. I've lost control! Ah, ah! So that didn't go all that well. And meanwhile, poor Millizand is still exsanguinating all over the floor. Millizand! You've got to rescue him now, Chris. You're his only hope. I will go and get Millizand. Leave this to me. going the right direction. This has promise. Oh, it is difficult, isn't it? Oh, give me down, give me down! Give me down, give me down! <laughs> Hold on, we just need to recover that. Chris is, is persevering. <laughs> what are you doing? I will be looking at landing in the grass area. Yep, 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 yep. Yes! Yes! He's landed on top of Minnie's aunt. Now, although I said to get as close as we possibly can, that's probably just a little too close on top of the patient in this case. Chris, I applaud your determination, and I did say land as close to the patient as you possibly could, but after many attempts, you landed on the patient, probably committing more damage than Zand. I think this is a case of who's less rubbish. So, today's winner is Zand. Ah! Well, I'm very surprised by that. I guess if I've learned one thing, it's the importance of the air ambulance pilots in the running of a big hospital. Neil, I think it's time we give our helicopter back. Our one is. remaining helicopter. Ouch. All over.
over the UK, there are emergency teams standing by, ready to help you. And they need to get to the scene of an accident fast. We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. This is a rapid response vehicle. It's on standby 24-7 to respond to whatever emergency calls come in. Today, I'm going along for the ride and you're coming with me. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. She can do 20 emergency call-outs in a day. And a new case is just in. We're going to see someone who's got a very severe cut on the head and they're refusing to go to hospital. Now, the reason we don't have the sirens on or the blue lights on is because they're with an ambulance crew at the moment. But Jan is the only person on call at the moment who can glue his head together, which is what we're going to try and do. At the house, the man, Paul, is in good spirits despite the nasty gash to his head. Thanks for coming out. It's so nice. It's all right. As a paramedic with 10 years' experience, Jan has the expert training needed to use special glue to join Paul's wound together. Right, this glue might sting a little bit, OK? How's that feel, Paul? Can't feel anything. Not stinging. Good. The super glue that Jan's using now will hold that wound closed. It doesn't need stitches, and it stops the bleeding. It'll stop infection getting in, and it gives a, it gives a nice result. It gives a tidy scar. All large head wounds should be seen at a hospital, but Paul has refused to go, so Jan gives him some advice. Any headaches that aren't controlled with painkillers will need to be assessed at the hospital. Okay. Vomiting more than twice will need to be assessed at the hospital. Good. We have got a slight issue. What? My fingers are stuck to your head. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Jan has done all she can for Paul, and it's up to him now to be vigilant and spot any side effects. See you then. Take care, see you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. So even though Paul didn't want to go to hospital, we were still able to glue his head together. That stopped the bleeding, it reduces pain, it reduces the chances of infection, and we've given him some really clear advice about what to do if he gets worse and he does need to go to hospital. And that's all thanks to Jan. With hundreds of rapid response crews in the UK, if you have an accident, an emergency service like this won't be far away.